Hello everyone and welcome back. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And here I'm Tarun Sharma and we are talking about the uh, full stack mastery. And in the last three videos, we covered a uh, Nest.js production level application, building Nest.js authentication service. And then we also talked about how to build a Nest.js GraphQL service. So initially I covered these express stuff, express with uh, simple authentication service, express TypeScript, how to build a production ready express TypeScript MongoDB application. Then we moved to the Nest.js. Then we talked about Nest.js folder structure and skeleton, how to build a simple APIs. Then we build a authentication service in the Nest.js. And then we also talked about uh, Nest.js GraphQL. So after going through all these uh, videos, which I have covered, like uh, lots of things on the Express TypeScript, the Nest.js, Nest.js with the GraphQL. Now, what is the remaining part? I will just do a quick overview, whatever we have done. And I will also just talk about a uh, simple TRPC application, like building TRPC server. After this, now we are, we are good at building the API platform, either in the Nest.js or Express TypeScript production ready. So now we will start talking about Next.js. So Next.js server side or the React. And we are going to build a end-to-end -end full stack application. Because it's not like, okay, you are just building the API platform and not looking into the UI stuff. I'm already building lots of full stack clone applications. So I will be building one of, one of the clone application after and we'll add those videos here. It will be like a, one big video which contains end to end everything. Okay, so let's take a look what we have done. So this is the monorepo project express API monorepo and we have in the last video, we talked about uh, Nest.js baseline REST API. This app we have covered, this was talking about simple authentication, authentication, uh, there is authentication controller strategy and all. After that, I covered the GraphQL implementation, Nest.js GraphQL with the Prisma. So you can see here is the Prisma schema and here is the APIs, post APIs. Here you can see I might be using GraphQL module dot for root. Here I'm specifying GraphQL schema. So this was our schema first approach, right? Here I was defining all the, the queries and the mutations and everything. So for the detailed information, like how it was working, you can just check out my last video on the same playlist. And here you can see, we can also run these projects independently using NX console. So if you want to run GraphQL Prisma NPM run start dev, I think it's already running or I can just check. So it's using a uh, nest yes, GraphQL and the Prisma. Right, so it's a nice combination. You can also add some database entities and, and play, can play around with this. And this is GraphQL type one. So what this project is doing is this project is using Nest.js, GraphQL, type ORM, all the combination. So we are writing queries and mutations and doing updations, deletions in the database through the type ORM. So it's a GraphQL implementations and it <coughs> is using type ORM. I think it's implementation I have shown in the demo also. It's like the some Pokemon application I have created queries and these are the mutations like create league. And I'm using this client, which is really nice. Here I can create a simple league. Hello, it's like a Pokemon league I'm creating. So it's a mutation, it's created. Now I can just do the query, fetch all the, the leagues which are available, which I have created so these are like thread operations and some kind of association. I can see all the leaks which I have created, right? So using this, I have now understanding about okay how to work with Nest.js REST APIs, Nest.js GraphQL APIs, right? Because this is all Nest.js GraphQL implementation through the Prisma and through the Type ORM, and I'm providing this nice and clean folder structure and the repository so you can reproduce these you can run these for the environment you can look into this what is the database and all and for database i'm using this docker compose yml file which is giving me two containers mongodb container and postgres container postgres 5432 mongodb 27017 and for database i'm already using these packages like for the db i'm using this uh, database package independent database package which i have already explained in my earlier videos like this is for the postgres and i'm just passing this database url as a string from the config module 
and these are like reusable packages I'm using. So you, I'm just importing this in my project code. If you can see my main module here, you can see I'm using two modules. One is a database module, which is using type or module and the GraphQL module, which is using, uh, which is generating GraphQL schema. And these are the type paths. So if you see module and uh, these are, this is also schema first approach. I'm defining the queries, mutations. Here also for the Pokemon, I'm just defining queries and mutations and the custom types. Okay. So this is all about uh, how to get ready with uh, REST APIs using NestJS or GraphQL APIs with the NestJS. Now there is always, there is also a uh, thing TRPC going on. TRPC uh, server you can create uh, on top of Express and th those are also kind of APIs you can build. So in the initial videos, I talked about these four things I'm going to cover in this. REST, GraphQL, uh, GRPC and TRPC. So we have already covered this uh, REST and the GraphQL. TRPC, I will just try to talk about that in the, the simple code. And GRPC, one simple express type script GRPC app, I will be building. But uh, this is all about how to build the API platform and you have a different choices. Most of the people are comfortable with the REST APIs. They go ahead and build the REST API using express type script or NestJS. Or you can also explore a TRPC. It's a type safe, safe type script interface and it's really very simple. You can build this on top of Express. I will just walk you through the code. I'm already building a T3 full stack clone applications. There you can just look into the detail. T3 uh, full stack apps, that, that is another playlist that I'm covering TRPC in the depth. But it's simple. It's like you, you have done already all these things. I don't need to even talk about it. Everybody knows how the Express uh, APIs works, right? Simple Express framework. Here you are just registering this middleware with the TRPC. You are just attaching a TRPC adapter. So all the TRPC requests will be handled by this TRPC router. Here you are passing router and the context. So if you see this, what we are at the end creating, we are just creating these routes. So it's like a to-do app. Here I'm creating a one TRPC file. This is the main file. You can say what I'm doing is I'm creating a context and uh, here I'm just creating the uh, T object, TRPC instance and getting the router, middleware and a public processor. These three things are important. On top of that, you are creating lots of things. Once you get a router, middleware and public processor, because here in this, you are doing public processor dot input. So how you do it? If you want to do a update, create, you will do mutation. And this input is just only for validation. So public processor dot input, do the validation, mutation, do the insert update delete hello okay there is should be a query also like this is also mutation mutation and if you have some query like this public processor dot query that means here i'm just trying to fetch the data so what is this this is a route and these are the different methods okay get to do's add to do's and delete to do's these are actually the processor methods because these are like rpc methods which your client can access so at the client side you will get the router router dot processor uh, router dot get to do's all these you will invoke from the client side but this is a plain and simple rest, uh, interface for the trpc here i'm just importing all the router this is my router and here i'm configuring configuring my router that there is a to do's router so how you will access it the client side router dot to do dot add to do, router dot to do dot, create to do, update to do, delete to do. All these things you will do at the client side when you are using a TRPC React, TRPC client library. So public processor, so what is things? If you see the syntax, it's kind of a very simple. Here you can write a update delete operation through the Prisma, through the typo RM, through the Mongoose or whatever. But the syntax which will remain same is public processor dot input for the validation input output you can define dot mutation and dot query so this input is whatever user is passing and you can just run them some operations okay find by id and then if not found through error otherwise save and return true input do the validations of input delete to do here you are getting the id so delete to do if error throw the error otherwise return true so this is a simple router and you can configure a multiple router like to do router profile router account router here 
and you can keep defining these like in the express applications we define different routes user route uh, profile route account route similarly there are different routers you are configuring rest it's all simple here we are using trpc server there is another library trpc client if you look into the package json it's all typescript application types express but here you can see the additional library we are using is trpc server and for mongoose you can also use mongoose with the type goose uh, that's just uh, another library which doing providing the same thing if you see this model it's using this type goose and here you are just defining the interface for to do and then i mean this is uh, nowadays popular how you are actually creating the mongoose models and you can use type goose what it will do it will give you the model object you don't need to specify the i mean there, there are many ways in the mongoose we are specifying mongoose.schema and then mongoose.model here inside you if you are using type goose you with the type script then you just create this class and get the model from this class get model from class and pass the class it will give you the object of the model where you can do dot find dot update dot delete dot insert save all the operations so it is also returning the same model so you can see it is actually returning the model from this get model from class and on top of that model you can run all these operations here you can see i got the model and i'm doing to do dot find to do dot uh, save to do dot find by id and delete find by id all these operations and here i'm returning a to do's router right with all these methods so client can access to do dot i mean the router dot to do dot get add delete toggle status these will be exposed to the client okay so i mean i can run this application i think for demo you need to create a client for it express typescript express trpc api i will go to okay. an console i've made the plastic express type uh, okay trpc here npm run dev i can run this so it is using mongodb mongodb container is already running you can see okay I need to change the, the URL for MongoDB. So this is my environment variable. This is some garbage. We don't we are not using it. So you can put any database. So inside our uh, ENV. fdb or any database because i think 27017 is where it is running i can run the application again so database connected to fdb that's it simple right because i'm already running this docker compose which is giving me my mongodb container you don't need to install anything it is exposing 27017 port image is mongodb and port is this so you just need to connect to local host 27017 database you can put based on your choice whatever database you want this is your connection string for your local setup and this we are already getting inside uh, our database so is our where is our trpc app inside you can see connection string right and it is doing the connection here simple try catch this is everybody knows about mongoose.connect if everything is good it will just say data was connected otherwise there is instance error you can just do exit the process and just do console dot error okay this is the error that's why we are not able to connect to your database okay so let's pause here and this is like a full stack mastery after once you able to digest all these concepts of the graphql grpc uh, trpc simple graphql with the express graphql with the the type orm graphql with the prisma then we are going to move forward and we are going to talk about end-to-end -end full stack application like i'm already covering lots of clone application but for this playlist i can pick up some tiny uh, full stack apps which integrates with the rest graphql or trpc okay that's it guys uh, let's connect in the next video with some a uh, nice end-to-end uh, -end application we will try first with the rest integration with the front and back end then integration of the graphql with the front and back end then integration of the trpc front and back end for trpc we can use some next js application for graphql we can just simply use a react app 
integrated with the, the GraphQL or Next.js application talking to the backend APIs using GraphQL. All those combinations I'm going to target next three videos with these three different end-to-end -end small, small applications, not Biggie. Okay, Biggie takes lots of time. 